at a news article um, from the Surf Haven Times, and it's about um, it's a debate about what to do with the future of the Surf Haven's boardwalk, which was destroyed by Hurricane Stanley. So you're going to hear some opinions um, about what they should do with the boardwalk, if they should rebuild it or if it's time to do something different with that space. So as you're listening, I want you to be thinking about a couple of things. Um, one is I want you to be thinking about the main topic and the focus of the paragraphs. Each paragraph is going to have kind of a different um, focus that they are trying or point that they're trying to prove. So I want you to be thinking about that as we finish each paragraph. And then I also want you to start thinking about which side of the debate you fall on. So you either are um, going to be in the camp that wants to rebuild the boardwalk or the camp that um, does not want to rebuild the boardwalk. So I want you to start forming your own opinion um, as you listen to this news article. Extended read two. Remember to annotate as you read. Surf Haven Times, September 21st. Surf Haven Debates Its Future by Jay Forte When Hurricane Stanley hit land last week, the small town of Surf Haven took a pounding. Stanley's powerful winds ripped up the historic boardwalk. High waves flooded the seashore shops. The famous Ferris wheel was broken. The popular arcade collapsed. The town has been cleaning up for days. Surf Haven's Boardwalk After Hurricane Stanley Last night, Surf Haven's mayor, Jan Brill, held a meeting about the boardwalk's future. 200 town residents came to the meeting. Town councilman, Matt Fenton, gave a damage report. 40 businesses were destroyed, he said. 20 others were badly flooded. The town has lost 300 jobs. We need $50 million to repair all the damage. Mayor Jan Brill said the town should rebuild the boardwalk. Our future is at stake. Visitors come here every summer. They spend millions of dollars. If we don't rebuild, they won't come. They will go to other towns. They will enjoy other beaches. Our town depends on the visitors. They shop at our stores. They dine in our restaurants. They stay in our hotels. They support our businesses. They come to see our historic boardwalk. Okay, so so far we've learned um, the problem for this town, um, which is that um, the hurricane winds ripped up the boardwalk, flooded the shops, um, they, the arcade collapsed, the Ferris wheel was broken, um, so it basically made just a huge mess. So the town camp comes together and um, the mayor says that her opinion I'm going to underline her name. Her opinion is that they need to rebuild um, so that they can have visitors shop at their stores, dine in their restaurants, stay in the hotels because they support the businesses. Um, and it talked about how the town lost 300 jobs and they need $50 million to repair the damage. So this is a big problem, right? So now we've heard some of one side, which is why they should rebuild. So let's continue. Matt Fenton agreed. We can do this, he told the large audience at the meeting. Remember Hurricane Nancy 30 years ago? We rebuilt then. We can do it again. We must do it. We need to keep our town alive. Dr. K. Smith from the climate study group disagreed. Ocean levels are rising. Weather patterns are changing. 
Scientists know that there will be more bad storms in the future. Rebuilding the boardwalk is a waste of money. We should learn our lesson from Stanley. We should turn the boardwalk into a nature preserve. The nature preserve in Ocean View attracts 5,000 visitors a year. So could ours. Nature Preserve in Ocean View, New Jersey. Okay, so we had another person on Team Rebuild, Matt Fenton, and he says um, that they want to keep their town alive and they rebuilt once, they can do it again. Um, and then we get to here, so this is another person in favor. I'm going to put a plus because they want to rebuild. Then we heard from Dr. K. Smith, and this one said that they should turn the boardwalk into a nature preserve. And Dr. Smith gives tons of evidence as to why um, she thinks that they should not rebuild the boardwalk. So this person is against it. So now let's listen. We've got um, a resident, a local weather expert, and a shop owner. Let's hear from them. Local weather expert Tom Lee agreed. The ocean level is three inches higher than it was when Hurricane Nancy hit us. The National Weather Panel says that in 10 years, the water could rise two more inches. That means we will have even worse flooding during storms. Surf Haven resident John Garcia gave other reasons for making a nature preserve. Before the storm, the boardwalk was crowded. There was traffic and noise night and day. What people need is a beautiful sandy beach and wildlife. We should build a nature preserve. We can all enjoy its quiet beauty. Shop owner Phil Pippin objected. Easy for you to say. You don't work at the boardwalk. My shop has been there for 50 years. I have 10 employees who need a paycheck. What will they do? What will their families do? How many families will have to move away if they can't find work? Okay, so Tom Lee um, agrees that they could have worse flooding during storms because of the water rising, the ocean level. So he is against rebuilding. Um, and then this resident, John Garcia, also um, wants to make a nature preserve. And he gives his reasons, um, which include the boardwalk being crowded, there was noise, um, and that they need more of a nature preserve, a quiet beauty. So again, against rebuilding. Now, Phil Pippin, he's a shop owner, and he says that his shop's been there for 50 years, and he has employees who need to be paid. So he wants to spend the money to rebuild so that his shop can stay alive. So I hope you're starting to kind of form an opinion. Um, remember when it's an opinion, it's not right or wrong. It's just how you feel about something. And so I want you to start thinking, which side do you lean towards in this debate? Are you leaning towards rebuilding the boardwalk or creating the nature preserve. Businessman Jack Obler tried to calm the audience. We could build new shops away from the shoreline. We could have a nature preserve and shops nearby. I will help us do it. Mr. Obler has built successful outdoor malls in many towns. A loud debate followed. The meeting ended with no decision. Another meeting will take place early next week. Meanwhile, the shoreline cleanup continues. Mr. Obler shows his plans for the nature preserve and shops. Sir. Okay, so Jack Obler um, kind of comes up with a compromise here. We could build new shops away from the shoreline and then they could have a nature preserve and shops nearby. So he's kind of for both. He wants to rebuild, but he also thinks that they should do the nature preserve and build away from the shoreline. Um, my guess is that some of the business people will say that their shops won't do as well if they're not on the shoreline because that's part of what draws people to those um, shops. So 
that even though that's a compromise and might seem like a good idea, it might not um, help the shop owners as much as he thinks, but it does say he's been successful before, so who knows. All right, so now we're going to listen to an opinion letter. Um, so a lot of times newspapers will run people's opinions so that they can share how other people are feeling. And this opinion is called Rebuild Right Away. Surf Haven Times, Opinion Pages, September 22nd. Rebuild Right Away. After reading Surf Haven Debates Its Future, I agree with Mayor Brill. We need to rebuild the boardwalk because the town depends on it. Visitors come to Surf Haven because of the boardwalk. They spend millions of dollars at the boardwalk. The shops depend on the visitors. A nature preserve sounds nice, but people need jobs. If they don't have jobs, they will leave the town, and the town will die. In my opinion, we need to listen to Mayor Brill. Surf Haven needs a new boardwalk, even if it costs $50 million. Jim Logan, Surf Haven resident. So this whole piece is for rebuilding. It's his opinion about why he wants to rebuild. We're going to come back to this in a minute and look for the evidence that he gives. Now this next section is called Do the Wise Thing. Um, and this lady, Jen Lund, she read the article that we read before that last section, the opinion section started, and she's going to share her opinion. So let's listen in to Jen Lund's opinion. Do the wise thing. I read Surf Haven debates its future with interest. In my opinion, we should not rebuild the boardwalk. Rebuilding is a foolish idea. Hurricane Stanley was a wake-up call. More big storms will happen in our future. If we rebuild now, we will waste money. Dr. K. Smith reminded us that weather patterns are changing. The ocean levels are rising. The shoreline will continue to be in danger. Tom Lee gave some important facts from the National Weather Panel. It is true that jobs are important, but we could build new shops somewhere else. Mr. Obler is willing to help. We should pay attention to the scientific facts. More big storms are coming. Rebuilding the boardwalk is not a good idea. Jen Lund. Okay, so Jen Lund is very much against rebuilding. Um, and again, we're going to come back to this. You're actually going to find some evidence that Jen Lund gives for not rebuilding. Um, in just a moment. Now we have a third um, person here, Paula Lopez, who is a concerned citizen, and she is going to write about her opinion as well, which is a compromise between the two. So let's listen in. Let's compromise. Surf Haven debates its future shows us we should work together. In my opinion, we need to listen to the scientists and citizens. They both have important points of view. We need visitors to come to our town. As the scientist said, ocean levels are rising, and we can expect many more storms like Stanley. Maybe we can't have our historic boardwalk, but we could have something just as good. According to Dr. Smith, the nature preserve in Ocean View gets many visitors each year. That means people enjoy nature preserves. We could build shops at a safe distance from the shore. My opinion is that we can make the best decision if we listen to both sides of the issue. We can have a nature preserve and great new shops. Paula Lopez, Concerned Citizen. Okay, so she says that they both have important points of view. She thinks they should rebuild the shops. Um, and that they also should have a nature preserve. Um, so she said they can't have their historic boardwalk, but maybe they could have something just as good. The nature preserve in Ocean View gets many visitors each year, which means that people do enjoy nature preserves, and then they can build the shops at a safe distance from the shore. So again, kind of a compromise here. Yes, rebuilding, not where they said. 
um, but going a little bit further away from where the um, boardwalk was originally. So let's go back and look. We're gonna go through this section, Rebuild Right Away by Jim Logan together, and we're going to look for the evidence that he gives for um, supporting his opinion to rebuild right away. So um, he says, here's his major opinion. We need, oh, we need to rebuild the boardwalk because the town depends on it. And here are his reasons. Visitors come because of the boardwalk. They spend a million dollar of dollar, dollars at the boardwalk, not just one person, lots of people combined. Um, the shops depend on the visitors. People need jobs. That's a big one. Um, and then if they don't have jobs, they'll leave the town and the town will die. Okay, so even if it costs a lot of money, he says we've got to do it. Here's his evidence. The town depends on it. The visitors come because of the boardwalk. They spend millions of dollars at the boardwalk. They depend. The shops depend on the visitors and people need their jobs. He doesn't want the town to die because people have to move other places to find jobs if their um, shops aren't able to open back up. So that is his opinion. Now what I want you to do is you're going to read through, do the wise thing, and I want you to do just what I did on this page. I underlined all of the evidence that he provided to support his opinion. I want you to do the same thing for Jen Lund. So you're going to underline in your close reader on page 36, you're going to underline the um, evidence she gives to support her opinion. And then I want you to continue thinking because on Thursday you're going to be writing um, who you agree with. Do you agree with rebuilding or do you think that um, they should make the nature preserve? Or maybe you agree with Paula Lopez and you think that there could be a compromise between the two. So something to be thinking about as well.